I was gonna say, uh, before the intro started, this is like probably the least important thing we could possibly argue about. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, we do that a lot. Yeah, welcome to Base Trade TV, right? Uh, hey guys, how you doing? This is Dreamhack Up, and we're back for Stock Up 2014. I'm Rifkin, joined by, of course, the lovely Zombie Grub. And, uh, could you actually start your interest for me? I gotta fix something real quick. In the bottom right as the Blue Terran, it's Liquid's Bunny. Hyper X. I don't know what that was about. Uh, spawning the top left corner of the map. Also playing for Team Liquid. His teammate currently down in the series. It is going to be Liquid Snoot. Now, do keep in mind the context of the match. It is the winner's match for the group. So if Snoot or Bunny loses, they still have the finals match to fall back to. And, uh, well, I, I gotta tell you, if there's one guy who's going to take down Snoot, apparently it's going to be Bunny. I mean, that was just a wonderful display of... I don't know. It wasn't even really abusing the spawn locations. That's what I loved about it, right? No. It was abusing Snoot's greediness, honestly. Yes, um, that's a better way to describe it, yeah. So, what I imagine what happened is that Snoot felt very comfortable in defending against this drop. Because he probably faces it a lot on the ladder, right? So he's like, okay, I don't need to get a Bane Nest. I don't need to get Spores. Let me go ahead and be greedy here. And just defend with Lings, and that'll be okay. Because obviously he knew it was coming. He didn't drone up his natural. He yeah. pulled the drone with whatever one, so... It, it was probably overconfidence, just, you know, greed. And Bunny's absolutely was like, nope, none of that. You know, got more Hellions than Snoot expected, so he thought one part of the... He thought it was over, and then, like, Bunny just came again. <laughs> uh, Snoot's probably not going to make that same mistake again. Like, that's for sure. Like, King's Angel is another good map for that type of drop, because, you know, it's it's close by air, the naturals, and, well, just a good build, honestly. But Snoot won't be making that mistake. Well, you know what's kind of interesting to consider? Everyone's been, of course, obsessed with Snoot's story for BlizzCon, right? Whether he gets there, whether he doesn't get there. And, of course, for DreamHack, somebody even posted the stats. Like, if he wins, like, he's got a pretty good chance. If he doesn't get further than this, he's kind of screwed. But one of the things I find most interesting about was when I am Toronto, you and I asked him, and we didn't really, like, make this public information afterwards, but, like, you know, what do you think your chances are? Do you really care? You know, the caster's hyping it up way too much. And he said, I've got all these other foreign tournaments to go to. I'm not that worried about it. But he didn't win WEC. He hasn't really got a lot of other options. This is kind of it when it comes down to it, because he didn't. He he got knocked out of WCH, which was, which well, was kind of mind blowing to me personally. The WEC even give points for WCS? Oh, you know, I, I don't actually know. They said that. Yeah, Mas I remember checking. But I'm just uh, saying, like, like the events he's done between IEM yeah, Toronto yeah, yeah, and now, sure. like he was he was so confident with all these foreign events, but like I'm just kind of really scared he might end up coming up shy. I mean. Yeah. Snoot's got a good chance to get to BlizzCon, and this game hardly is what determines whether it goes or not, but I uh, I know that I personally am going to be rooting for Snoot throughout most of this tournament, just because I want to see him at BlizzCon more than anything else. Yeah, and what, yeah, looking, th there's almost no way he doesn't get out of this group, by the way. It's not like, you know, he has, because some groups do have that third person that's kind of a contender, honestly. Um, not really in this one. Uh, Bunny and Snoot are pretty much, you know, <laughs> they're going to get out. So no worries quite yet. Of course, group stage three is when it gets really scary. I mean, that's when you're like, you're, you're looking, hoping and praying that you just get good seating. You're down. You're the, like, it's not just the Koreans. It's the Koreans who won, right? Like, yeah. It's, it's you're like, down it's the barrel like, of a gun. Please, love God. Like, can I not be in a group with first Jadong and MMA? Can you just, can you just give me that? But yeah, so here's the thing for Bunny. Um, it's not like any of that's going to be affecting him. And this is what I kind of... I would imagine his teammates, you'd be like, yo, buddy, let me get the one to see. You know, I need this, I need this. But <laughs> it's funny, because I've actually asked players specifically about that. Not just for WCS points, but I've asked them for prize, cash, money, etc. Because I, and they always just tell me that nobody really thinks about those things. Like, I have not had a single person tell me that they've ever really thought that far ahead. Because all of them are just kind of in the moment trying to win competitively. And, I mean, that's, I gotta tell you, this is why I fall in love with these European guys. They try harder than anybody else. And it's shown through the last year of StarCraft 2, if nothing else. Well, we had Bunny open up with something very standard. Um, now he did... I mean, I guess I said standard, but it kind of isn't. Usually you go for two base Banshees, not three base Banshees. So this will be hitting at a later timing. Um, it, but it's kind of like it's kind of like a counter Banshee in TPT. Like, it's a surprise. You know, the timing's passed and you didn't scout it. Oh, but Snoot is going to see this. Never mind, he's going to have support colors. No big deal. Uh, but the thing is, those Banshees, they don't have to do the game ending damage. They don't even have to get involved with the Mineral Alliance. It's, as we saw in game number one, you just push with the banshees well, I mean the DPS. Here's the thing, like I have to feel like Bunny's gonna go for mech or something off of this, right? Because he had a third command center and a starport with the tech lab, like that delays his stim by a lot. So 
I, I, he might still go for it, of course, on the, the tech lab coming down like soon. But uh, if you, that'd be cool if he went for mech as well. I would love to see Bunny play mech. I think it would be incredibly okay. infuriating to watch, but it'd be awesome at the same time. All right. So a tech lab did go down to the barracks. Uh, just I guess a little later stim. It's not really that big of a deal. Like it's like, when does stim timing ever really been the most important I'm, thing? Well, what I'm curious about is like he he went for this build after the third CC, right? So I'm wondering right. if this is going to be the early move out or if he's just trying to use uh, and abuse it for mules for the time being. Because, I mean, it, just, mm. it wouldn't make sense to move it out. If you're planning to be aggressive, maybe, but he's been sitting on his own half the map. Uh, but this is a hell of a man. We'll decide to see, but the cost of, like, 11 links, so maybe it's worth it. Yeah. I'm going to diagonal wall from Bunny. Actually, this is kind of a cool wall. Yeah, I like this one. Sure. Rather than being at the, uh, the other one. Because it, it would take more to wall off, right? This actually just slightly smaller. Well, it is, it is bio, you know, two more barracks, two more engineering bays, still no stim, so I mean, it is, it's quite, quite the way. Again, not the biggest deal, as long as it times up, like, around 12 minutes, that's usually when you're pushing out anyways, so. I'll be interested to see a couple kills, but that's kind of the key with it, a couple. It's 170 seconds, so yeah, so basically three minutes exactly, um, so it pairs up, like, super nicely. <laughs> Did you just do, like, the sickest math and, like... Like, snap of a finger? Is that what just happened? Three minutes is 180 seconds, right? Dude, how do you know that off the top of your head? I I don't know. I'm amazing. This is 60 times 3, man. 6 times oh, 3 is 18. Whoa. Oh, man. That's 180. How did you do that so fast? It was, a, it was a bit of a risk to do it on stream. I had to I pull out it. a calculator. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> His other veggies, the veggies are coming back. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm sorry. Other veggies are coming back. Uh, and they will start shelling away here at the queen. Um... If she stays one or two long, I mean, Banshee this is pretty good. She can't take on two, that's for sure. She can't even take on one, technically, but... Uh, clears up a lot of the creep humans here in the front line with a scan. Bunny has got control of this game. He's not doing a lot of direct damage, but uh, he's already got control of it, which is really, honestly, hard to take away from a Zerg player. Yeah. Here's the thing, though. While usually being in control of the game is really awesome and cool, and it is still, it's like Snoop probably is okay with that if he's decided to go into a Swarm style. Because Swarm style is, like, pretty patient. So, anyway. well, I mean, we're talking this big game with Swarmos, but he's got to get there. <laughs> That's the problem. So yeah, no, no, I think he will though, because I it like comes out what after the first push, I think. After the second push, maybe two. Well, this is I don't know. this was really well defended by Snoop this time. He cleans up all the Hellions. He yeah. got one of the Banshees. And Snoop was pretty greedy um, in one way. Like his fourth isn't as fast as it could have been, but his bailingness was pretty late. So if Bunny was to do anything, you know, but he knew that wasn't yeah. gonna happen. He saw the third command center. Hey, Zomigo, but here this base is pretty good to take as a fourth. What do you think? Dude, people take it all the time. I still don't, I'm still not entirely convinced. I what I do like is that Snoot actually has already started pushing out creep. You know, we see so often like they'll take it and the creep is still like only the first creep tumor from the below the rocks, you know, instead of being pushed out already. Well, I also like that he went and reseeded the stuff that got picked off by Bunny because, I mean, that's that's usually a problem too. Like, you lose a lot of ground, it takes time to make up, but uh, Queens are on the patrol. Looks like they killed that second Banshee as well, so that's now out of the mix. But a push of Marines with the Medivac coming forward. This deal of Stim, no combat shields, but he should be able to deal with this with the links he has. But Bunny, of course, probably isn't going to go too far with this. Pick off the creep and then maybe harass a little bit, but, I mean, it's eight Marines, right? Well, this drop did almost nothing. Yeah, as you say, that was one of those like, oh, that was so cute, never mind, like, uh, <laughs> it gets cleaned up. <laughs> that wasn't scary at all, but the the creep cleanup is really good so far. No, he hasn't even got the creep queens, which is the, the best thing you can do, but it's still annoying for, again, Snoot to, uh, I guess, you know, <laughs> we're going to keep, like, arguing about this base, but he has to his queens, both the left side and the right side, and the no, middle. No, there's no arguing, you're wrong, this base is amazing, I love it. Whatever, but the point is he does have to do that, right? So we maybe split up the queens at this point because he has three on the front line of the left. Like put one back over to the right. Because when you're not taking the base over there, it's so good to have creep wherever you can get it. Yeah. Well, Snoot's done a good job of getting his uh, control of the map back. This was something that was really kind of being choked out by Bunny. But Bunny, you know, he's gone from harass and like creep tumor killing to consolidating one Yo. large army, and this is this is scary. So didn't have bailing speed. Like, oh I god, that's gonna be a big problem. Is that a mistake, or is he just being greedy again, trying to get like mutas out beforehand? Well, I, guess, I, I don't he know. He hasn't been relying on the bailing speed heavily, right? This is just so ling oriented. And he's got a lot of lings, and that's cool and all. But if these, uh, these what am I get those connects? Oh, bro. Go very I'm poorly, very scared. quickly. Yeah. Oh, the creep again is oh, pushed out pretty far. Unburrowed a bunny was sick. So he's trying to bait out these guys with low amounts of bailings, low amounts of zerglings, but. I mean, oh, he has to take a fight. Oh, my, so bad. He's on creep. 
stun creep. That's already good for Snoot. Uh, but he's out of Balance so quickly. He has backup up to the on the left. He's got to back up. Yeah, you're right. There are backup Balings. So but there's no Zerglings. Yeah, that's what sucks. Uh, luckily, all the Wood Mines have been either killed or, you know, they're, they're out of juice. So, so. he hopes. <laughs> Comes here, here. Well, yeah, he is, he is hoping. He doesn't have an Overseer, so that's that's a big problem right here. Oh, he's and he does up lose so heavily all the Balings. But that and the Mutas also fall behind this. So, I mean, Snoot's uh, going to take another big hit. More uh, uh, Overseer, please. Yeah. Okay, there. Trying to get um, some, uh, trying to get these wood mines cleaned up is one thing, but it he lost so many mutalisks in that attack. Six went down, and that was uh, mostly just due to being clumped on that Thor. Really unfortunate. Well, luckily for him, it's not the biggest part of his army, right? Because he did get the infestation pit, and I would expect to see infest or swarm hosts um, soon. Uh, maybe after this cleanup, then he'll be feel safe enough to do it. All these wood mines. Yeah, they're pretty clumped though. This is kind of scary because uh, when you get Widowmines clumped like this, it's not about the risk of them dying to Banelings, but it's more about them just all targeting the same bad targets. When you spread them out, there's a better chance they actually hit something amazing. But Snoot, here yeah. we go. This is the breathing room he was looking for. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, if Bunnies really knows the style well too, he's probably expecting it very soon. Like he's like, okay, first two pushes didn't do it. Okay, Swarm has got to be on the way out. Yeah, when he first started going this style, like I just assumed it was the bait out hits on Widowmines by anything else. Oh, oh, nice shot with oh. those lings! Using the Widowmines very so much on purpose. on purpose. Yeah. That was so sick. That was really cool. That was really cool to watch. But it's not a Swarm host here is the problem. Uh, they're going to replace oh, the fodder that the Zerglings were meant to be. Nice splits by Bunny though that last second. Those Banelings do not get good connects at all. Foremost, not the scariest thing in the world, but there are a lot of banelings on the way. But those mutas, oh my god, those mutas! They just get wrecked. But at this point, it's not so much about the mutas. So it's kind it's of not. it's sad to sacrifice them, but it was like that necessary sacrifice to stay alive for your swarm uh, It's just more than like if you had like a big ling army too, we'd be like, okay, you can buy time to get more mutas. But he has a bigger ling army. He is only depending on these foremost and like a handful of banelings. It sucks too because it's like three swarm hosts. <laughs> It's really not that much. These Widowmines actually rearm are in the range of the Swarm Hosts. Yo, he's gonna kill his own units? Oh no. Oh uh, yeah, it goes up the other Swarm Hosts instead. Yeah, the Marines could have taken some very serious damage there, but... Um, each of these Locusts is basically a Hydralist. The problem is Snoot's now out of Swarm Hosts. He's got a couple left, but... Uh, the Locusts are expiring too. What happened to that Overseer from earlier? Please, these two Widowmines gonna rearm for the third time, fourth time? Uh, despite the breathing room that Snoop may have found, Bunny's just keeping the pressure on hard here, and he might not even have to worry too much about this. I wouldn't always go off on. Uh, oh, I was gonna say pretty much nothing, uh, but it kills a swarm host, so pretty damn good. So, what am I still being a big problem for Snoop? I don't know if there's an easy way for him to clean it up, but Bunny, in the meantime, he's expanding behind this. Uh, it's got a planetary in the middle of the map, too. He's not really. In a lot of trouble anywhere. There's no mutilus counterattack. Uh, he's gonna start dropping around the swarm house. I like this move a lot actually. Don't you dare explode on that door. Ooh, well, he uses some kind of necess necessary evil, I guess, to deal with that. But uh, yeah, swarm so is trying to reposition, and the links will kill the Thor. But so the drop, the main is a drop at the third, and there's an attack at the fourth, all at the same time. And Snoot, he just doesn't have enough. Bunny behind this went to a fifth base as well, like. He's getting double starport just in case, I guess. He needs like battle cruisers and banshees and <laughs> Why not? Bunny playing this out so fantastic. We talked about how like one of the good responses to deal with this is sort of make that mech transition, but again, Bunny's been putting in so much pressure, he's not needed to do that. Uh Snoop does look like he cleans this up though, all these locations. Uh this is really impressive too, because you gotta consider like the videos only just got made. He was relying on such a low swarm house count. I mean, Bunny's still in a pretty fantastic spot, but I am really impressed that Snoop held. Yeah. Bunny just hasn't really been able to take advantage, I guess, of his big economy. Um, you know, consult, like, stop dropping, consolidate a little bit, and then go. He's probably really afraid that Snoop's just gonna be able to, like, bust out eight swarm hosts if he lets up the pressure, though, and then that's when it becomes, you know, Snoop can buy so much time. I can't play because that's exactly what will happen. Uh, we're getting covert reactor and some ravens out behind this. Point defense drones are gonna easily allow him to push through a lot of these swarm hosts because. The thing is, point defense drones usually end up being pretty useless because, you know, between Hydras, Mutalisks, Swarm Hosts, like, it, it absorbs, like, one volley at most. But there's really such a low count of Swarm Hosts, that would actually be pretty effective. Four more are on the way, bring them to a total of seven. <laughs> Still not ever, not, not scary at all. That's what I want in the main is going to keep going off on random things, too. That's going to be a big business. 
Yeah, uh, Snoots Nine Storm hosting the whole 20 meter list down. He doesn't really have a lot of Zerglings to buffer and fodder for the army right now. And Bunny's once again split pushing. Vito's looking to clean up the drop on the left, but hopefully it's not too late because Bunny's also pushing here on the right. Lots of Marines still standing, and same with the Marauders. Uh, this is a lot of DPS that could snipe off the hatchery. Oh, that's a macro hatchery, this. <laughs> it works out a little bit. Go, Sport Crawler, go! Oh, oh Mutus, please kill the uh, head of the next here. Jeez. Uh, Sport Crawler is doing it for him. Dude, but he this Sport Crawler is a beast. He's got five kills on it. He lost a lot of Mutus defending that right there. Uh, but yeah. he does defend. And now Bunny's going to just maybe focus entirely on the left side, which is where his swarmos are. Okay, yeah, he's still there. Yeah, and he's investing the ranged weapon upgrades here, too. So he knows that this is. Uh, Something he's gonna have to do a little bit more than just lightly. Even microing the locusts around. Like you Seriously? Really, you don't huh. see this level of control on an average game. Both of these players playing absolutely fantastic. Yeah. But Bunny just like just gonna, like, you know, bigger force and attack not where the swarm hosts are. And they'll just be able to take down a third. It's I just... mean we gotta consider too, like Ugh. Just recollection for a moment. Like, you talk about that, but at the same time, Bunny had like four simultaneous attacks going off against units that don't reposition well. Swarm Host, Locust, the rearm time, low amounts of mutas, and he still couldn't quite kill Snoot. So you gotta imagine, too, from his point of view, it's a little bit scary. Like, he just can't kill the guy. Probably, probably. But he has that, you know, the ace in his back pocket, which is the Ravens. So while Snoot's all like, okay, I gotta worry about this bio, I'm doing a good job, I'm alright, I'm okay. Suddenly Ravens come into play, and it's like, well, what do you do to get deal against that? I mean, they got the point of but they, they, they got uh, seeker missiles. You got to be careful. Seeker missiles, thank yeah. you. Um, they add a lot, and I'm not sure. Like Bunny seems to have like a very like clear cut, clear, clear cut plan to defend or attack the against. Two clicks clan. Is that what you said? <laughs> shut up, shut up. Um, to, to defend uh, against Snoot Swarmo style. But does Snoot have like a clear cut plan to defend against <laughs> Bunny's Ravens? Well, let me tell you, Snoot, uh, she sells seashells by the seashore coming up here on the edge of the screen. It's really and... hard. It's really hard. I, I don't know if he's going to be able to deal with these Ravens. Oh. Like, they, there's not many, but they add so much. They really do. Uh, the point of Fistros are going to go down and nullify a lot of this damage. This allows him to actually scan the folks for a couple of those foremost, but round two of the Locust is so far away, Snoot's just going to tap out. GG Bunny takes the series 2 0.